you evaluate the pass rush that you guys have had through 10 weeks now? For sure, through 10 weeks, you know, we've definitely had opportunities to get after the quarterback. There's definitely flashes where, you know, we can really disrupt the pass game and all that. But, you know, every week we still take our steps forward to, you know, progressing in that aspect of the game. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. So, you know, we always try and get better every day. And it's something that's been emphasized uh, quite often over the past few weeks. So we're coming in this week, you know, trying to put a big emphasis on our pass rush game. What's for the sure. confidence level of the defense in your opinion? Um, you know, like it's obviously it's it's uh, <laughs> our confidence level is you know we're still coming at the same one. You know, of course things don't go your way, but at the end of the day, you know we still come in every day and work hard. And like with Coach Coach Hill, you know he keeps um, emphasizing our mentality of you know we come in balls to the wall, you know as hard as we can, regardless. So that being said, we're still even keel. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. So right now I'm just worried about the season. You know, we'll see once the postseason comes and January comes around. We'll see what uh, is in store for me. But right now, just worry about Oklahoma. What, this is the kind of the time of the season, I guess, when for a lot of teams, especially with a three-game losing streak, you start to hear about things like culture and locker room and vibes and that kind of thing. What do you hope the culture of this program is that kind of comes out during you know, a, a pretty rough stretch right here. No, no. Well, at the end of the day, you know, we, we, uh, the culture is that we love each other. We play with love, you know, and then we also work hard every single day. You know, that's all we do. So uh, with that being said, as long as that doesn't change and that stays, you know, one of our main uh, priorities as a culture and as a program, that's all that matters. Is there anybody who gets up in the locker room and is maybe a little bit extra fiery right now, kind of the the rah-rah, the let's go, the yeah. get after kind of guy? I mean, absolutely. All our captains are, you know, definitely in making an emphasis and trying to, you know, motivate us. Not motivate us, but um, remind us of our purpose that we had from the start of the season. Um, it's it's super, still super important for us to finish out on a good note and for us to, you know, play our hearts out because uh, that's our identity, you know, as a defense especially. So that being said, that's uh, what they're emphasizing to the locker room right now. They're, def they're definitely one of them, for sure. You know, they got a lot of good talent on their side. The quarterback's good. You know, I've, he's got a lot of experience under his belt. He has good receivers, good weapons. So we'll definitely have to lock in and play some of our best defense so far this year. Going off of that, is this the best quarterback you think you've faced? Um, you know, he, he's definitely definitely one of the best quarterbacks so far. Every, every quarterback we played has their own special, you know, skill set or what they are the best at. But... That being said, uh, this quarterback, he's definitely somebody we got to pay attention to and work hard against, for sure. Are these the type of teams that you envisioned that you wanted to play when you decided to come to BYU? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was these moments in these games that, you know, I've I've jumped out, not even before I came here, but, you know, since I was a kid. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to it. I've been meaning to ask you this. How does a kid from Alberta end up an American college football fan? Yeah. Sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's actually crazy because uh growing up, I of course I played like NCAA, you know, the little game, but I've actually never been to a college game until I played in one. So, it was it was really cool because most of the time I would watch the NFL, so like that's how I was introduced to it. And so, I didn't actually get a feel for the college game vibe, like college football vibe until I started to get into it myself. So, uh, it, it's it's really cool kind of coming from Canada and seeing you know, the difference in college here and college there, and, you know, it's, it's cool. So it's, it's, I'm super grateful, you know, super grateful. All right. All right. Thanks, awesome. Man. Thanks, awesome. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, y'all.